Hi, using Y coordinate of the 3D rotation modifier in Swift UI, you can create an animation similar to the AirPods Max rotation animation on iPhone. So in this video, we look at how to create that. You can get this code from GitHub in the repository Swift UI iOS 16 animations. I have already created a Swift UI project which contains the image and the UI. When we go to the assets folder, we have the image of the AirPods Max. So let's go back to the code. To create this animation, the first thing we need to do is to add a state variable. So let's begin here. We first create the state variable, is 3D rotating and set the initial state. So we have 360 degrees as the initial state. That is the Y rotation. Next, we have to define how we want to trigger this animation. We trigger the animation automatically using the onAppear modifier. So in the closure of the onAppear modifier, we bring the state variable we defined. And then we set the final animation state. In this case, we are using random number. So we set the initial animation state to 360 degrees. And the final animation state, we generate random numbers from 1 up to 80 degrees. After defining the final animation state, what we have to do next is to use the state to animate the property we want to animate. We want to animate the Y coordinate of the 3D rotation modifier. Using the 3D rotation modifier, we can set the angle in degrees or in radians. So in this example, we are using degrees and we set the angle of rotation with the state variable in this case. So we originally, we set it to 360. So for the angle of rotation, we multiply it by two. Then we set the X coordinate to zero. For the Y coordinate, we make it the same as the state variable. For the Z coordinate, we set it as zero. We don't see the animation yet because we haven't added it. We can add the animation explicitly or implicitly. In this example, we are using implicit animation that uses the animation modifier. So the first parameter of the animation modifier is the easing function. So we use ease out with a duration of six seconds. We then repeat the animation forever and set the parameter auto reverses to false. When using the animation modifier, there is also the parameter value. The value should be the same as the property you are animating. So in this case, we have the state variable. It's 3D rotating. So that should be the same as the value. And this creates the 3D Y rotation animation, similar to the AirPods Max animation on iPhone. Thanks for watching this video.